Welcome back to the CBBB project. There we have it. Double pin striping. Lovely. Meanwhile, apparently a brand new tyre. Um, I pumped it up last night because it was down. And... Uh, yeah, it's down again. Uh, it, it, I mean, it is new, so I don't know if it's the valve, but what it does mean is I've got to take the front wheel off again, which is a real pain in the ass. Uh, as you remember, or may remember, uh, it's going to involve this thing again. Yes, but I'm probably going to have to do that anyway to get my clip ons onto the handlebars, forks. You know what I mean. So that's frustrating. Anyway, enough about all that. Let's get on with it. Well, I'm waiting for the clip-ons. They're on the slow boat from China. Uh, meantime, I haven't got the energy or the enthusiasm to start sorting that out. And that's only the half of it. So I'm mainly pissing about with stickers at the moment and pinstriping. Still can't actually find a link in the chain to get it off. So I think we'll have to resort to our normal method which will involve Mr. Kawasaki. Uh, no. No, not this Kawasaki. The other one. Yes, that one. I know what we'll do. Given that we have confidence in our little side stand now, uh, let's get rid of this anchor. Oh, I said anchor, not what you thought I said. Yes, that centre stand. Well, that seems to involve uh, merely removing that kind of weird split pin type thing and uh, that big old spring which is what made it so bloody difficult to get it onto the stand in the first place. Because as well as fighting all that weight, you were fighting the spring. So actually what I did was cut that, that little clippy thing with uh, the Dremel. Now uh, then banged out this with a hammer from the other side. So it's loose from that hole over there. So now I'm just pulling it out with a pair of long nose vice grips, mole grips whatever you want to call them. And there it is, a very useful piece of aluminum tubing, which goes in there with the rest of the uh, random shit that I collect. So now just that spring to deal with, which I hoped would become redundant once we got rid of the rest of it. I think I'm just going to smack the whole thing with a hammer and make it drop out. So at this point, it's still sprung. It might fly across the workshop. Who knows? Yeah, that's not doing anything, is it? There you go. Um, so I just... Got the claw end of the hammer and uh, levered it against the uh, cross member there, and it came off. Lovely. Let's unhook this. Job done. Excellent. Well, that saves about fifteen pounds of weight. Oh, look at that beauty. Yes, I'm referring to the last Honda CB750 project. Mm. Now ready to. Uh, Sell, I guess. Alrighty, it's a star studded castle with little and large. And Bono, of course. This is actually for the Kawasaki, but uh, we're going to be cutting out the other seat piece. Well, I ended up doing it with a big boy. Yes, Mr. Kawasaki. So that needs some tidying up. How boring those spots. Well, it's coming along, shaping up, literally. Yep, I think that does the trick pretty well. And I think what I might do, I'm not sure yet, but what I might do is actually paint this whole seat pan, the orange, and then actually fill in here with filler. I might just do that so it's looks really pucker from the outside in which case i'm going to rivet them and there we have it yes so um we're going to be filling those with filler and sanding and all that kind of stuff bondoed up and uh the perfect applicator yes a lollipop stick 
Yeah. It's the little things. Talking of which, we got more pinstriping. Yeah. Well, before we start sanding, because that's really boring, there's something much more exciting coming. Yes, clip-ons. So we've got the old doofer out again, and it's up on the chain, and we're ready to do everything. So there we have them. They might not stay there. They might come lower down. Uh, the forks themselves may drop down. They're pretty much on the edge there. And what else? Uh, oh yeah, uh, very long. Yes, they're always very long. Uh, so until we get all the the grip and the switch gear and everything else, I shall leave these as they are, and then we'll cut them to the right length once we've got all the clobber on. Anyway, as you might have gathered, it's a little bit more of a performance to get the forks in and out when you got the front wheel on. Obviously, it's a piece of cake when you just got the forks. But uh, we got there. Yes, all that kind of clever. Mm. Yeah, so that's probably about right, but we'll wait and see. Get the levers in. Oh, we got the levers in. Well, there we go with the clobber on. Actually, uh, <laughs> not that long at all. Hmm, interesting. Uh, yeah, that switch isn't going to be the actual switch. All we're probably going to have there is the starter switch. Uh, these are both momentaries that I bought by accident. Um, on the other side, I've got some similar kind of size and format switches, which will operate the lights and I don't know what. Anyway, that's kind of roughly what it's going to look like. So, yeah. They're actually not that long after all, are they? Hmm. So that's the only problem with my new preferred uh, levers uh, incorporating uh, brake fluid reservoir is that the switches, I mean, either way, if I put them up the other way, um, they kind of foul on all this. So that's a bit of an issue. I only need one button here. I need the start button. Because um, I think I'm going to try and avoid a kill switch again on this build. But even so, you know, you're up against the handlebars, uh, you know, the forks here as well. So it's kind of an issue. Unless we go for a nice little engine start button right here. <laughs> yeah, I think that might work. Trouble is, last time I saw it, it was there, and it's not there anymore, and I can't remember what I've done with it. The start button, that is. Yeah, that one. Like that. That's the general idea, uh, with the seat on top. I don't know, it might be a bit too much. I might have to paint the edges black. But I definitely want the, uh, the uprights, these bits. Uh, I definitely want them orange. But yeah. I don't know, we'll see, we'll put the seat on it, see what it looks like. Might be a little bit much. As my friend, I've got a very high opinion of myself on the Kawasaki KZ650 owners forum, pointed out to me, uh, less is more. Mm. Well, there you go, Mr. Less is more. Um, yeah, we have a orange painted brake junction. So we're going to need a six or seven inch from here to here. And then also from there, as you can see, that's a wider end. Uh, so then that cable goes down to here. Oops. 20 inches, roughly, maybe a little less. And then the same, obviously, from this side down to the caliper there. I'm thinking orange, Mr. Less is More. That's yeah, all right, he's not watching, he's a Kawasaki man. Right, let's get that chain off. Talking of Kawasaki's. Not sure if that's going to have worked. Well, we got it. Uh, I had to do cut it from this side and that side because the trouble when you're cutting it if you're trying to cut the actual 
rivets off, then they tend to melt into the uh, link. So uh, I had to just literally cut it, as you can hopefully see. You know. That's the honourable chain off. Now all we've got to do is count the links and check the size. So no interruptions while I'm counting because it's very annoying when you get to like 88 and lose count. And much as I didn't want to take this back wheel off, I think I'm going to have to because it could probably do with a new sprocket, probably. And the more I look at this wheel, the more I need to bloody paint it. And I really didn't want to because because doing all that silver stuff is actually quite a pain in the ass. Well, there it is, all kind of bolted together. Um, I need some proper bolts, but it's kind of there. I don't know about the orange rim. I think probably need to get rid of that and just have the little orange flash in there. I think that's what I need. What do you think? So the only problem now is that, as you can see, that seat is wedged up there beautifully, isn't it? Yeah, lovely. Tank is in the right place, right? Because there's a hole lined up with a hole. Unfortunately, the pan is about half inch off. That's quite a long way. That's a bugger. And there's no room for manoeuvring at the front end. So on that note, oh, I think I'll call it a day. Time to ponder the Honda. So if you enjoyed the video and the ridiculous haircut, uh, give it a thumbs up. That'd be much appreciated. If you want to see how we overcome those problems, then you better subscribe. And of course, encourage others to watch my lunacy.